My name is Christy Pollock and I'm the owner of Christy's Gardens and Greenhouses and today I'm here to talk to you about succulents and cacti and aloe vera. So anything in that sort of realm of a plant. So they're very different plants than our normal tropicals that we grow inside our house. And I want to explain why they're so different. First of all, we need to go through a few different terms like stomata. Basically, stomata is a door that opens and closes on a plant's leaf to the atmosphere and it releases different byproducts like oxygen and water. So now that we know what a stomata is, let's dive into why succulents are so different to grow than our average tropical plant. Why are succulents so different? You have to think about the environment that they're normally growing in, a really deserty location. Summers where it's super hot during the day where they could potentially lose a lot of water. So already they have to create a different way of keeping their water internally so that they can survive. So they're a very efficient plant. One of the things you must know about succulents is that they're what's called a crassulation acid metabolizer. You can also Google that, it's called CAM. So CAM plants are very different because they open those little doors, those stomatas at night and absorb the carbon dioxide in the evening versus during the day like our other tropical plants. So you have to think about that again when you're watering them at home. If they're closing their stomatas during the day and they're opening at night, they must need less water. When we're watering them in the wintertime, especially indoors, we don't have a lot of light. And because we don't have a lot of light, they're not pulling a lot of that water up and using a lot of their water because they're not drying out the same way and they're not really growing. So we want to make sure that we let them wilt down quite a lot before we give them any water at all. And when we water, we want to make sure we water them thoroughly, but then let them really dry out between watering. Sometimes this can take weeks and weeks and weeks. In fact, our very big planters at the front of our greenhouse, maybe we'll water them four times during the whole winter because they hold so much moisture. Really, it's a watching game with your succulents this winter. If you want them indoors, you have to wait till they're totally wilted and their leaves are almost falling before you give them a nice shot of water. Then, in the spring, don't worry if they look terrible. We can trim them up and basically get them to regrow again for us, regenerate, and then put them outside. They'll get lots of lots of light and lots of temperature. These plants need a higher temperature to photosynthesize at an efficient rate. So the more light and heat we can give them in the summer, the better they will grow. Thank you so much for watching.